Hi, this is David Bettino with Electronic Musician, and here's an easy way to add more character to your sound. I started this project as an upgrade for my Arturia Keystep controller. The Keystep is some of the best feeling mini keys I've played, plus a boatload of ports. You get MIDI, USB, analog sync, and three types of control voltage output, pitch, gate, and modulation. Unfortunately, the mod ribbon doesn't show you the current value, so it's easy to leave modulation on when you don't expect it. Because I play the keystep over USB most of the time, I decided to use its CV output for something else. So I wired up an LED and mounted it in a Japanese monster toy. This is Gankyu, which means eyeball in Japanese. Here I used a special color-changing LED that has an internal resistor, but if you're using a standard LED, it's a good idea to add a 1 kilo ohm resistor to limit the current. Unfortunately, we'll have to perform some gruesome surgery on Gankyu, but he fights dirty too, as you can see in this Ultraman clip. First, we'll use the soldering iron to melt a hole for the LED. Next, we'll use a tapered reamer to enlarge the hole to a quarter inch. Now, we'll pop in the LED socket. To keep my monsters stable, I hot glue super magnets inside their feet. I use a second magnet to hold the first one in place while the glue dries. You can buy these magnets at Home Depot, but I've also used magnets from old electric toothbrushes. Next we'll attach an 8th inch phone plug. This cable from my junk drawer had two inner wires, so I twisted them together first. Tinning the ends of the wire with solder makes them easier to attach to the plug later on. The inner wires go to the tip of the plug, and the shield goes to the barrel. Next we'll check the continuity. The black box contains a 9 volt battery, an LED, and a buzzer. Sounds good. Now we'll feed the other end of the cable into Gonku and add a knot so it doesn't pull out. The final step is to solder the LED. The long leg, or anode, goes to the inner wire. The short leg, or cathode, goes to the shield. Again, this LED has a built-in resistor, so I didn't add another one. All right, time to shine. First, we'll plug into the pitch output. As I play higher, the LED gets brighter. Next, we'll plug into the mod output. Sliding up on the ribbon, brightens the LED. And now we'll plug into the gate output, which goes high when I press a key. Notice how sustained notes aren't so interesting, which is where Gonku comes in. Gonku's LED has a built-in sequencer that fades from red to blue to green as you hold a note. I pulled this LED from a broken bouncing ball. You can also buy them at Radio Shack. So I used the Arturia Keystep to power the monsters, but this also works with other gear that outputs 5 volts. Thanks for listening.